Hey YouTube, this is going to be a PMD MMD tutorial and on this one it's going to show how to take stuff from PMX to PMD and vice versa, so PMD to PMX. Um, I have gotten questions before, you know, like what's the difference between the two? Well, I mean, besides the fact that they both save in different file forms, uh, really, I mean, there's not really anything different between the two. I mean, they both function exactly the same. They do the same exact thing. Um, PMX is everything is in English, so that does make it ten times easier. Uh, but I just find PMD easier to work with in pretty much every other way. I, it, it's hard to explain. I guess it's just because I started out with PMD and I've always used it, so I've just become more accustomed to it, I guess. Um, but again, they both have the same exact role, and they both work the same exact way. Um, so, to get started, of course, you have to have both PMX and PMD to transfer stuff. Um, so, if you're working on a model on PMD, and you find like a really nice like skirt or something, but it's in PMX, you will quickly see that you... Um, can't even load your PMX file onto MMD. Um, so to show you an example of that, um, let me get something here so I can show you guys. I'll just use a dress to show you. So you find where in the world? Oh, here it is. Okay, so you find something you really like, and you try putting it onto PMD, and you realize, oh, well, it's actually not letting me put it on. I'm, you know, I'm clicking and dragging, it's just not working. Well, PMX files cannot be loaded onto PMD. They can only be loaded onto PMX. And I'm using this example first because, um, this example is going to be a little bit easier to explain than the other one. Uh, so you load it up and everything works perfectly fine and so to put this over to PMD form come back to this box go file export and then um, type in blah, 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 dot dot PMD and the dot PMD is is what's going to save it as a PMD file I'm not going to push save because um all right, well, I guess I will, so you guys can see the next box that pops up. Um, okay, so for save, and then this box will come up, and you just press OK on that. And now, that dress should be in PMD form. So, to check that, of course, go to where you saved it, and drag it over to PMD. You'll see that now it lets you bring it in, and... Now everything's fine, everything works, it's all good and dandy. Sometimes it will open up without any textures on it. Um, this is what I meant by showing you the easy way first. Um, the first thing you want to do if textures are not there is come to your MA thing and check what your textures look like. If they look normal, then everything is fine. That just means you might have saved your file without the, um, the texture uh, files with it, which is that's very easy to fix. The one I was going to show you that might be a problem, um, I will load up with something else so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, you'll see something that might look like this, or you'll see something that might look like um, that might look like oops that. So if you see anything that looks like one of those then there, unfortunately, it's a lot more work and it is a pain in the butt. So, if it looks like that, um, let me go ahead and get this example up so I can show you guys. Uh, okay, so, this was a uh, model request that I did, so if you guys think she's cute, which, you know, she, she kind of is, um, I can't give a download link, um, unless she is okay with that. So, um, you know, you load everything up on PMX, all, it all looks fine. Um, so, same thing as always, go to File, Export, save as whatever, .pmd. Um, this box will come up, press OK, and then to 
uh, now loaded up onto um, PMD, you'll see what I'm talking about, and this is where it makes you want to pull your hair out, because uh, this model did all the bad stuff that it could do when I, tr I transferred over. Okay, so as soon as it will load... Okay, so this disaster happened, and this is the best example of pretty much everything that can go wrong. Um, all the some of the files went, just went haywire, and all the textures are gone. Well, most of the textures are gone, and um, the fi the um, items that look like this, I have no idea how to fix them. Uh, so if you know, please, please, please comment. Uh, not only to help other people, but to help me as well, because I cannot fix it, like, for the life of me. Um, and if stuff like this does happen, like, after you try to, like, fix everything and load your model up and put everything to PMD, I would just recommend just working with PMX with everything, because uh, it will still load up on um, MMD if you do that. And I'll actually show you. I'm just going to load up that stupid dress, because that model takes too long. Uh, to come up. So as you can see, everything that's PMX still comes up. Like it doesn't mess it up, it doesn't do anything wrong. So if that does happen, I would recommend just starting on PMX and do everything on there. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of pulling out your hair. Um, but the texture thing I was telling you about earlier is this. As you can see, it's already doing it. It says SPH slash, well, nothing. That SPH, SPH, or it'll look like that. Um, these are actually pretty easy to fix as long as you save the model as usual save your model with the textures that is on it um, that's step one of trying to fix it next step is you have to go through every single one of your little things and you have to fix a texture on every single one of them it is a pain in the butt I don't know of any other way to do it um, I have no idea if there is um, so if, of course if you know please leave a comment for that but as far as I know, it's the only way to do it. It's very annoying. It takes a lot of time. Um, so again, if that happens too, working on PMX is probably your best option at that point. Um, that's really the only things that I can think of with PMX to PMD and vice versa. Um, so if you can, if you know any of these problems that I said I didn't know, please comment those. Um, if you have any other questions or comments or anything. Definitely please comment those. Um, I will post the links for PMX and PMD in English in the description. I will also post um, my Deviant Art in the description because I have been doing a lot of model requests and I do have videos on YouTube of me making them. Um, so I'll go ahead and post that information as well. Uh, so please don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for next videos.